hello 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 lovely people how's it going this is sam gonzalez from software agents tv some might know me as yo sammy g we're out here on the scenes hoping everybody's doing nice doing well could be talking about some halloween related topics i think i want to go through some candy discussion if y'all don't mind talking about uh favorite candies, worst candies. We're going to get into it. Uh, just letting people come in right now, but appreciate everyone for joining. As you can see, I'm wearing orange for this special occasion. Uh, sorry, just moving that out the way. Um, hope everyone's doing well. And if you have any opinions about candy, let me know, because we're about to go through some tier lists. I'm going to be ranking a huge list of candy and we're gonna we're gonna talk about what's bad, what's good, and uh, what's not even in the discussion. I'm gonna make one more tier list right here. Just give me one moment. I'm gonna add a row below. It's gonna be not in the discussion because I noticed in this pool of candies here. I don't know what a Gazetti cream is, so I'm sorry, but you're getting vetoed. Did I add it? Uh oh. All right. Delete. 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 All right. So we're gonna move that here. Oh, I lost the F tier. No. Oh shoot. I'm gonna call that F. Add Tupac to the list. I did not make this list. This list was already made and Tupac is not a candy, so I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> Take a little they make cow tails. I don't know what a cow tail is. You're talking about some candies I am not aware of. Well, as we let people come in, we're just going to eliminate the gum because that is not in the discussion. We're talking about favorite candies because we know Halloween is all about the candy. So we're going to have to get rid of the gum here. Juicy fruit is very good. But this is not a gum tier list. And Orbit is gross, so we'll put that in F. Bubble Yum looks gross. Uh, Big Leaf Chew, not in the discussion, but that stuff's pretty good. More gum. I just want to get rid of gum because gum is not candy, it's its own thing. Gum is not going to be part of this discussion. Now this list has a lot of candies. Some of these candies I have never heard of before. And feel free to put some input here. Hey, how's it going little M Big G? Hello everybody joining in. We're gonna be ranking candy for this holiday Halloween special. You see I'm wearing the orange, I'm all ready. I'm here for the holidays. We got S tier, which is the best. A, B, C, D, E, F. Then we had never had candies. And then we have not in the discussion. So right now I'm getting rid of all the gum because that's not part of this candy discussion. Um, thanks for joining in. I'm just looking through the gum before we get started. This list is massive. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, these ice cubes. That's not candy. Get that out of here. Let's see. Just going for any gum in here. Get the gum out of here. More gum. I don't know why they put gum in here if it's candy, candy category. Trident. We don't want trident. We want chocolate. We want fruits. We want gummies. Oh yeah, we're just streaming all of Halloween right now. Candy at work. What does that even mean? 
I know Jimmy Neutron made his own candy. That was a pretty good episode of the show. Do do candy at work? What does that mean? Um, alrighty. Now that we've eliminated the gum, because it's not part of the candy discussion, but we, we labeled bubble yum and orbit as F because they're disgusting, it's time to get to the real candies. Some of these candies I don't even recognize, so I'm not going to go in the order that are here. I'm just going to let you know that crunch. Crunch bars are going to be S tiered. Crunch bars are chocolatey, and they got that little Rice Krispie Crunch to them. It's in the name. They're charming, and they're labeled. So if you ever forget what you're eating, you know what you're eating. Crunch bars, S tier easily, and the label is blue, and blue is my favorite color. So it's got a lot of good things going for it. Let's see, what you might call it? I'm about what you might call it in A. They are very good, but I think I could only eat so many of those at once. But they're pretty good. We also have that like rice crispy crunch as well. Um, okay, Hershey Kisses. Honestly, at best they're a C. At worst, they're a D. I don't really see the point. They're kind of gross. I don't really know why. Um, hmm. Are we thinking C or D on Hershey Kisses? I'm not a big fan. I'd probably put them in D. But if you guys are really feeling them, I can put them in C. I'm probably gonna just put them in D. They're they're not very good. Yeah, not not feeling the Hershey Kisses loves right here. I'm, I'm gonna put it in D. They're just kind of gross. Jimmy Neutron also made his own gum. So, all right, we got Fudge. I don't even know if that's a candy, but we're gonna put an S because Fudge is delicious. Gotta love the Fudge. Uh, we got a regular Hershey bar. These are okay. Yeah. Hershey Kisses taste like chocolate. But they're just little tinfoil wrap pieces of disappointment. We'll put the Hershey bar at C. Yeah, I, I think uh, Hershey bar is better than a Hershey Kisses, but just a plain Hershey bar isn't so great. <laughs> Sorry. Need a little bit of tea. Yeah, Hershey is kind of overrated, and definitely plain Hershey bar is not so good. And Hershey Kisses are gross. So we're going to have to leave the Hershey bar at C, and the Hershey Kisses are going to have to go at D. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I think this is Dark Chocolate Hershey's. That's going to be A or S for me. I love Dark Chocolate. Uh, hmm... I'm going to just say A because I think the dark chocolate with nuts is the best. And I think this is just dark chocolate. But dark chocolate's really good. Dark chocolate's way better than a regular Hershey's. Regular Hershey's is gross and take five is not in the discussion. And we're not talking about no peeps. Not, we'll just put peeps in F. Peeps are gross. That's nasty. M&M caramel. That's like a D. M&M's never needed caramel. I don't know what that's about. That stuff's not too good. M&M pretzel. M&M pretzel is really not so good either. I'll put M&M pretzel in D, and I think we have to put the caramel in E. <laughs> Sorry, in E. Sorry, my voice isn't the best, but we're, we're trying to do our, our best for this candy discussion. That's why I got the tea. Pretzel are awesome. Awesome? 
They're all right. I mean, I like that they're crunchy. I'm sorry. I think I have to leave pretzel at D. They're crunchy. I'll give them that. The caramel aren't even crunchy. The caramel are just gross. But, I don't know. I don't think the pretzel is pretzel -y enough. I appreciate the crunch, but... I'll move the pretzel to C. Okay, okay. You guys are really hyping up the pretzel. I'm not a big pretzel guy when it comes to the M&M combination, but we'll put it at C to make you guys feel a little bit more comfortable. You gotta realize this is the Yo Sammy G Software Agents TV truthful list of candy topics and opinions. But you gotta give and take with the audience. I wanna keep my followers. Pretzel, pretzel can go at C, but it's not going above B, that's for sure. A big thing with me for candy is I like crunchy stuff, so I'll keep at C, a bare minimum, I can crunch on it. Alright, we got Hershey's Gold, Peanuts and Pretzels, this, this stuff sucks, that's going to be F tier. I appreciate you respecting my C tier when it came to the pretzel. This Hershey Gold stuff, this stuff sucks. I don't know. Oh, sorry. That was me thinking about Hershey's Gold for a second. I got a little queasy there. Oof. Um. All right. Well, he's gonna disrespect the C. Now we gotta put a frowny face on the C, because it's disrespected. Um, okay, we got chocolate pretzels. Chocolate pretzels are fine. The chocolate pretzels are at least a C. I'd rather eat chocolate pretzels. I'll put it at B. I don't even know if chocolate pretzels are really a candy, but they're in the list. I'll put it at B. It's better than a regular Hershey's bar. Alright, we got jelly beans. Sorry for all those jelly bean lovers. Jelly beans are gross. They're going in E. I guess they're edible. They can be chewed on. That's about it. That almost feels like disrespect to M&M's caramel. Because I could eat it. I'm going to move up M&M Caramel just because that's how bad jelly beans are. It almost makes me want to move up Caramel to C just because how gross Hershey's Kisses are. But, hmm. yeah, we're going to have to leave jelly beans at E. Um, hopefully nobody's horrified about that. Uh, these are going to be some hot takes. I already told you that. Mr. Top 10 List likes jelly beans, but for some reason the sugar and jelly beans bothers me more than the rest of the candy. Starburst jelly beans are pretty good. Um, well, that wasn't in the discussion, and I cannot verify that with my taste buds. So, I'm sorry, we're going to have to veto your Starburst jelly bean fantasy. Alright, we got Payday. Payday is pretty good. Chocolate Payday is S tier. I think regular Payday is going to be a B. Payday is pretty, pretty damn good. Simple, but effective. Alright, we got those variety boxes of chocolate I get my mom sometimes. Uh, I'm going to give those an A because I usually devour those within an hour. Yo, you need to try payday chocolate. You're only going to find them in gas stations, but chocolate paydays will change your life. They are really freaking good. I can verify that. Saturn PM can verify that. Go to a gas station, get some chocolate paydays. Those are so good. And uh, the chocolate that I get my mom for Christmas sometimes, that's A tier. 
That's getting devoured immediately. Not really something you get on Halloween, but that's fine. I don't know what the hell this is. It's like chocolate walnut cookies. That's not in the discussion. Um, Fifth Avenue. I don't know anything about Fifth Avenue. We'll have to rest on that. I'll put Fifth Avenue and never had. I do not know what that is. Uh, cotton candy. I don't even think that's a candy. We're just going to put not in discussion. Um, toxic waste. I mean, based on the name alone, we'll have to put that in F. Sorry. Um, so a lot of these I am not familiar with. Yeah, I mean, cotton candy's not even real cotton. All right, we got those gross sugar stick things. That's an F. I don't know why I would even bother with that. Uh, this looks like Snickers peanut butter. Peanut butter. That's gonna be an A for me. Pretty damn good. But for it to be S tier, I just have to eat a crazy amount of it and not get sick of it. A Snickers peanut butter. Put it, Peanut butter Snickers, I'll be very happy, but I'm just eating one of those. I'm not messing around with multiple Snickers peanut butter, peanut butter bars. I'm not disgusting. I'm not a monster. Kit Kat, that's one of my favorite candies of all time. Kit Kat's going to have to be an S. Kit Kat's got the crunch. It's got layers. You can take it apart. You can share a stick with your friends. I don't know why you would. Kit Kat, pretty damn good. That might be one of my favorites. I mean, it's probably a top five candy, to be honest. Kit Kat doesn't have any, you know, crazy gimmicks like caramel, you know. Doesn't have any weird things going on with it, like cookies and cream or anything. Kit Kat's just chocolate and wafers. It's just crunch, 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 munch, munch, munch. You got alliteration in the name. That's a solid pick right there. Payday and S tier, are you wild? Payday is good for, if we're talking chocolate payday, which I've hope, I'm have i hoping that you've tried diff. Um, chocolate payday is gonna be S tier, but sorry, regular payday is a B. And B is pretty good for me. I am picky when it comes to my candy. I didn't know that there's collectible Kit Kats, but that, that just keeps it at S tier. I'm, I'm gonna have to put Kit Kat in the front because it's amazing. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but Payday staying at B. That's just how it is. What else could we do? Peanut M and M's, S tier candy. Peanut M and M's. Peanut M and M's are probably just my favorite candy. Period. I don't know. Kit Kat and peanut M and M's. Those have gotten me through the toughest of times, the roughest of times, the good memories, the bad memories. When I was starving at work, peanut M&M's got me through some morning shifts. Those are delicious. Peanut M&M's are the best M&M's. You heard it from Mr. Top 10 list. This man professionally ranks things. It doesn't get more definitive than that. We're just going to have to ignore what he said about the pretzel M&M's, but that's okay. We can find common ground when it comes to the M&M discussion. But, um, I know there's some peanut M&M haters, and just some people are professionally wrong, I guess. I guess that's just who it, how it is. I'm sorry, Diff. I'm sorry. I know you're a peanut fanatic, whether it's Payday or Jif peanut butter, but it's just not happening. I put Snickers peanut butter in A, so hopefully that helps some peanut butter fans. I rock with Payday, like B tier is not low on my list of candies. C is like bare minimum I can eat this. D is like there's candy in the room so of course I have to eat it, but I'm not going to be happy. E, e is like not even edible and F is just straight up garbage. Say I'm getting peanut. M&M's is Hulk meme where he happily hands a thing to somebody. 
I do love the Hulk and I do love peanut M&Ms. Now, regular M&Ms. This is a controversial topic. Regular M&Ms, I'm gonna have to put at B. I know people love them, people hate them. I think they're fine, but I eat them and I just, I just miss the peanuts. The peanut M&M is solidified by the crunch and I just don't know why I would bother with regular M&M's when peanut M&M's exist. Yeah, I will sadly eat a Hershey's Kiss. Like, I won't be proud, but I'll, I'll take out 20, 20 Hershey Kisses. I've done it at, at my job before. They used to give out free Hershey Kisses at my job like a year or two ago. I take from the bowl multiple times a shift. I eat like 20 of them, and by like the 25th one, I realize I don't even like these. But 26 won't hurt me at this point. Yeah, no, no. Regular M&Ms, they stay in the B tier because you might need to bake some M&M cookies. That's very valid. And then M&Ms and ice cream, delicious. So I already said B tier is pretty good for me. You, you got to remember S is the best. A is excellent. B is very good. If I'm eating regular M&M's, I'm not upset. I'm just thinking we could do more with this. And that's why we got peanut M&M's. I mean, they don't even make peanut M&M cookies. I don't even know if the Bakeology is there. <coughs> See, you're getting me upset now. You're getting me upset. You start disrespecting the peanut M&M's. You get me coughing. I'm sorry. Regular M&M's, they stay in at B tier. Plain M&M's are all right. That's what Grant says. I'd say they're a little better than all right. They're good. But with candy, you'll see from the Kit Kat to the Crunch to the M&M peanuts, I'm all about my crunch. Fudge is an outlier, but fudge is just so good. We don't worry about the crunch. Plain M&M's, they're cool. They're cool. All right, Grant says that plain M&Ms are better ingredients as toppings, but we're talking standalone snacks. He does make a good point. Now, we'll keep them at B. Notice how the M&Ms get a lot of airtime, but the other candies, they don't get a lot of airtime when it comes to these discussions. Now, we can't talk about M&Ms unless we're talking about Skittles. I'd say Skittles are a B. Skills are pretty cool. M&M minis are pretty cool. Is, are M&M minis here? They're probably here somewhere. Uh, if M&M minis are here, we'll get to them. Now, Skittles. Skittles are good. They're just like regular M&Ms. They're good. I can have fun with some Skittles. And I'll put sour Skittles... I haven't had them too much. Sour Skittles, they're probably just as good. We'll keep them at B tier. You don't like Skittles that much? Oh, chat, is anyone a big Skittles fan here? Because I'm not crazy about Skittles. If we're not feeling the Skittles, I might have to push them to the C tier with the frowny face. Oh, you need, you need to know about Take 5. We'll get to Take 5 if it's even on here. If Take 5 isn't here, I'll let you know my thoughts on Take 5. I do see the M&M minis. We'll bring them up here. How are we feeling about Skittles? Sour Skittles, the same as regular. Are you a certified sicko? I barely had Sour Skittles. So I don't want to divide the Skittles fan base. I'll let them be. I was asking if you guys think I should lower the Skittles because they're certainly all right. But if we're divided when it comes to the Skittles conversation, I'll leave them at B. Mr. Top 10 list says that Skittles are a C for him, but on a bad day, they could be a D. That's rough. OK, 
Okay, so we're talking... Grant says he likes Skittles better than chocolate. But it's probably the lowest tier fruit flavored candy. That sounds like a backhanded compliment. And Dift feels like there's no question mark. He said, I am a sicko. He said, sour over regular. Honestly, we are not big Skittles fans here. Go for it. Fine. Skittles could be at C. I hope you're happy with your sour Skittles. It's honestly the same stuff. I'll, 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 you got upset about the payday. You can have your sour Skittles at B rank. Just letting you guys know I have a little bit of cough, but anytime I cough or my voice gets a little cracky, we're just gonna we're just gonna blame it on the passion of this candy discussion. Twizzlers, 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 Twizzlers. Twizzlers are probably a B. I think Twizzlers are pretty good. Yeah, see, Dift is coming along. He's happy. The, the sour Skittles are at B. I think Twizzlers are a B. Twizzlers are good. They're not outstanding. And they're not excellent. The texture is there. But they're mostly just texture. Twizzlers are good. Now, I saw they had the other flavor of Twizzlers. I don't know what this is. Watermelon, cherry. This is garbage. This stuff is disgusting. That's going in F. Okay, we got Skittles Wildberry. I've never even had that. We're just going to put that in the never had discussion. I don't know what that is. Oh, we got the Take 5 Reese's. But do we have regular Take 5? Huh. Twizzlers are a B. Twizzlers are a E to F. I'm sorry, that cherry Twizzler crap is garbage. That's an F. Sorry, buddy. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Man, you are very divided. I don't know where we're ever going to agree. Everybody has totally different takes on this whole candy discussion. I know people don't want to talk about religion or politics. I don't care. I'm here for the hot button, hot topic issues. How we feeling about Twizzlers? I'm putting them at B. And that cherry crap's going in F. Sorry, folks. Mini M&Ms. I almost want to put them at A. But it's basically the same thing. I feel like mini M&Ms are a bit better than regular. I'll leave those at B. Hello, brother. Just talking about candy. Discussing life. Take 5 Reese's is normal Take 5. They rebranded to get people to buy more of it by giving it the Reese's name. Now, is that... Is that speculation or is that a guarantee? Because I'm a big Take 5 fan, but I'm not really familiar with this Reese's branding and I don't want that to taint my candyology theory because I take candy discussion very seriously. This isn't a joke to me. This isn't like politics. This isn't like religion. Candy actually matters. Candy changes lives. And that's why I'm doing gestures, but you couldn't see them without my webcam, but you see that they're in frame. I'm serious about my candy. Oh, we're saying it's facts. Reese's Take 5 is what Take 5 used to be. Take 5 S tier. No question, Take 5 S tier. Don't even joke with me. That's a pretzel candy done right. Not trying to throw shade at pretzel M&M, but I am throwing shade at it. Not throwing shade at the chocolate pretzels, but I am throwing shade at it. Take 5. Take 5 is a good candy bar. Chocolate, peanut butter pretzels. Oh, damn, we even got receipts. Okay, AT says he likes the 5th Avenue bar. I have no thoughts, never had it before, just for him. We'll put it at B. Um, Alright, I'll have to look into your receipts on this whole Take 5 situation in a moment. Okay, let's, let's, let's look at the link. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. We're going to have to verify this. Reese's Take 5 Chocolate Peanut Butter Candy Bar. The Take 5 bar is five layers of sweet and salty goodness that doesn't ask you to compromise. It's crunchy pretzels, smooth peanut butter, salty peanuts, and sweet caramel, all covered in a chocolatey coating. All covered in a chocolatey coating. 
Grab the snack the next time you want to mix things up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we weren't supposed to see that. That was my other tier list. Don't worry about that. Uh, take five's S tier, easy. I don't even know what Fifth Avenue tastes like, okay? So I said Payday is pretty good, and he said Fifth Avenue is pretty good. It's staying at B. You're going to have to just die on that Payday Hill because nothing's going with that. Reese's Fast Break. Sorry, that's the passion talking. Reese's Fast Break. I want to say Reese's Fast Break is an A. This is difficult. Reese's Fast Break is pretty much the same as a Snickers peanut butter. Really good, but I can't have too many of those. Should I put the box of chocolates at S? Because I did say it was something I can... Hmm. I kind of want to put the box of chocolates at S. Uh... Oh no. Yeah, my mouse is bugging out there. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. The box of chocolates, it's pretty damn good. I feel like... Box of chocolates is like, it's like an A.5. It's above A, but it's not necessarily an S. We're going to have to leave it at that. We got a lot of candy to talk about. We got this Oreo chocolate. I think I've had this before. This is not very good. That is a D. That is not good. I don't know. I don't know what these balls are. That's a never had. I think these are pixie sticks. That's F. Yeah, don't eat that chocolate Oreo stuff. That stuff is disgusting. Uh, AT will put Skittles at F because of the controversy with them having dangerous metal in them. I did hear about that, but we're not talking about metal in our candy. We're talking about flavor. We're talking about what we want to eat. And I think we're going to have to just... Metal or not, B and C. The Skittles decision is final. You can't influence us with your evidence. Uh, crowns. I don't know what crowns are. We're gonna put that. I never had. Bottle caps. Never had. Runts. I barely remember ever having runts. That is some E tier garbage. I don't even want that. Ironically, the dangerous metal was an F on the periodic table. Metal doesn't taste very good, so E tier. All right, it seems like the chat is a little upset about this metal controversy. I'm sure the sour, you know, counters the metal. So we're just going to put Skittles at D. That is for the chat. I'm not super proud of that. But there's a lot of metal controversy tonight. I'm going to leave Skittles at D. Sorry. Um... Honestly, I don't know who else is to qualify for this topic because I talk candy every single day. We got Snickers Almond. This is gross. That's going to be a D. Snickers already disgusting. Poor usage of the almond. That is just gross. Runts are an F. My brother says they're an F. We're going to have to just throw them in the F. Remember, your input does matter. But for the most part, these are my opinions. Weathers original. These are fine. I feel like my D tier is pretty mean. Uh, I guess we'll say C is harmless. These Weathers original things are harmless. Yeah. Which candy is getting disrespected besides Payday? I think I'm being pretty generous. Are you a Runtz fan? Are you nuts about jelly beans? Disgusting. If you're just tuning in now, don't forget to hydrate. Um, York Peppermint Patties. Those are going to be a B. They're pretty good. 
Uh, they're not S tier because I could not just go for like 10 peppermint patties. And they're not A because they're not excellent. They're just really good. But usually the B tier ones are ones like I can have. Um, I'll enjoy myself, but you know, I'm not trying to get seconds and thirds. I'll give the rest of my Yorks to Mr. Top 10 list because he says he can down all the Yorks. He asked, am I, am I nuts about jelly beans or am I jelly beans about nuts? I'm probably jelly beans about nuts because jelly beans are crazy and I love nuts and I'm talking about the food. You can get your mind out the gutter. You think that York is an SSS and you think I have wild opinions? Yorks are very good, but I'm not having six Yorks. I might have two. Yorks are going to have to stay at B, I'm sorry. Alright. Sour Patch Kids Watermelon. I don't know. They're either a C or a D. Sour Patch. I'm going to say Sour Patch. I remember the watermelon being really good. And then I had them recently. They were not that great. I'm going to have to put Sour Patch Kids Watermelon at D. And I'm hoping that my memory's right and that the regular ones are much better. I want to say the regular ones are a B. But the watermelon were not good. Like, I remember they were good, but they, they really weren't. Uh, Grant says that York was originally the capital of Pennsylvania. Then they started cracking a few bells and made Hershey Park. Hubba Bubba. Not in the discussion. This isn't a gum discussion. Spree. I do not know what Spree is. Lifesaver gummies. Those are pretty good. I'll put those in B. York is also kosher. So if you're celebrating one of your favorite holidays, remember that York is kosher. Uh-oh. We we're gonna get really controversial. Reese's peanut butter cups. This is gonna get really controversial. Reese's peanut butter cups, are they S tier? No. Are they A tier? No. Are they B tier? I feel like, Mr. Top 10 list, Reese's on a good day are B tier. On a bad day, they're a C tier. I feel like when they're in the variety packs, I feel like when they're like miniature, Reese's can be pretty damn good. I'd say Reese's peanut butter cups are a B. I'll leave it at that. C is like bare minimum, I'll eat that. Whenever Reese's are in like the, the jar of candy, and Halloween. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to put Reese's Peanut Butter Cups at B. I'm feeling comfortable about that. Oh wait. um, Hold on one second guys. I'm having a... Something's going on with my microphone. Give me like two or three minutes. I'll be right back. I just need to adjust something. Give me one moment please. Hey guys, uh, sorry about that. Um, just had a problem with the microphone, but as you can see, I am back. Things are, things should be pretty good with the camera microphone segment. I was gonna have a little technical difficulties, but we should be back in business now. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Gonna go back to the candy discussion. Uh, hope everything's going well. Uh, what else? Who we got next? Um, we got Twix. Twix are good. Twix, 
excellent candy, honestly. Um, Twix is going to be an A tier. The only thing pushing Twix back would be the caramel. The caramel is a bit much. Um, but, you know, I like the cookie crunch, as George Costanza says in Seinfeld. Uh, solid, solid candy. But I think Kit Kat beats it. I've been known to do the Kit Kat first Twix conversation. I'd say Kit Kat's better. Uh, yeah. Twix, solid candy. <coughs> oh, sorry. Twix is a solid candy, but the caramel's a bit much. I gotta keep things going. Hmm, high chew. High chew is really good. I'd say high chew's an A. Twix does have the cookie crunch. This is true. High chew's probably one of the best fruit candies. That's for sure. High Chew, really, really good. High Chew is like Asian Starburst. It's just better. It's just quality stuff, honestly. Uh, what else we got? Generic Cartoon Lollipop. I don't know. I don't want to put that in the discussion. I don't have many thoughts about that. Kinder Bueno. Kinder Bueno is probably going to be B tier. Kinder Bueno is pretty good. It's not outstanding. Sometimes that hazelnut flavor gets old. But it's pretty good. Cooking Hershey's. See, this is a Hershey's bar, but I can't tell what flavor it is. I don't know if that's Hershey's almond. I can't tell. I'll just leave it here. I don't know what that is. Uh, we got these disgusting little strawberry things. Those are an F. Don't even bother with that. Okay, we got peppermint candies. Those will be S. And then we got the like chalky peppermint candies that aren't even close to being as good. Those are C. Hey, you're all good. We're just talking candy. Hey, no problem. It's all good. We're talking candy. Things are totally fine. There's no issue here. Oh, those strawberry suckers, they, they are terrible. These, these suck. They're going to be an F tier. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got chocolate coins. Oh, I was having some issues with my mic. And then I, I just, I fixed the mic right now. My setup's just the same as when you were here earlier. I don't know what you're talking about. Almond Joy. Um, uh, Almond Joy. It's not as good as it used to be. Almond Joy is probably a C. Yeah, Spider Sam. That's a pretty good film. I've seen it. High quality. Was the what are the mounds here? I feel like the mounds are a bit better than almond joy. I'll put mounds on B. They're not crazy good. Are you saying almond joy is gross? Are you throwing up? Is that is that Ugandan knuckles throwing up? Yeah, mounds are better than almond joy. That's for sure. But they're not as good as they used to be, in my opinion. So. I don't know. 
if I wanted candy, you, you wouldn't see me going like this for an almond joy. That's all I'm saying. Oh, you don't like you don't like coconut? Everybody here's got some controversial opinions because coconut is delicious. It's just the almond joy bars are just okay. All right, we got Milky Way. Milky Way is gross. Milky Way is probably going to be in D tier. Milky Way is a waste of time. A lot of division here on the coconut situation. Me and my brother are fans. Mr. Top Ten List, Lil M, Big G, not feeling the coconut. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, we got Valentine's Day candies. What are we doing here? Um, those are D. They're barely edible. Uh, we got these little donut thingies. I don't know. They're not in the discussion. I don't know about that. Starburst jelly beans. Never had those. Candy corn. I don't care about candy corn. Candy corn can go in D. Candy, care, candy corn is whatever. Clark bar. I don't know what the hell that is. Never had. Dove. Dove sucks. Any Dove chocolate is F. Don't waste my time with Dove. Milky Way. This is like a, a special Milky Way. I remember these being pretty good. I'll put this special Milky Way on C. I think it's like a dark chocolate Milky Way. Uh, what do we got? Toffee. Toffee is cool and all. Toffee is not candy. I don't know. I'm not trying to do this whole toffee thing. Uh, Dove. Dove is not A tier. Dove is F tier, baby. Dove is disgusting. Dove is a soap brand. Toffee can go in the trash. You take that back, sir. Toffee is not trash. Uh, Mr. Goodbar? That's going to be a B. Mr. Goodbar is a B. Mr. Goodbar, pretty damn good. It's almost an A. It's just a Hershey bar with peanuts. You add nuts to anything, it's already better. But you wouldn't see me climbing walls for a Mr. Good Bar. That's all I'm saying. Um, Big Hunk. I don't know what that is, but I like the name. Never had. Score. Never had. Fruit Stripes. Never had. Is that a Symphony Bar? Oh, Symphony Bar is S tier, baby. Those are so good. Symphony bars are just Hershey's with toffee. So good. So, so good. All right, we got the cigarette candies. That's an E. It's only an E for the novelty. 100 grand bar. I remember those being fine. I want to say 100 grand bar is a C. It's fine. I don't know what a Nico is. That's a never had. I don't even know what this is. This looks like a COVID test. We're going to put that in never had. Uh, Twin Bing. I don't know what that is. This is some Reese's thing. I'm sure it's good. Never had it. Starburst. I don't care what variety. We're putting the Starburst all together. Starburst does nothing for me. That's a D tier. Starburst is just the thing somebody asks if I want any and I take two and regret it every time. Starburst is a waste of time when you can be eating high chew. Much, much better candy. Uh, never had Rocky Road. Oh, we got a candy bracelet F tier. Waste of time. Wear a real bracelet. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Crackle. Crackle. Pretty damn good. It's like a Hershey's Crunch Bar. Crackle's at least got to be with the... 
I want to say Crackle's an A tier. I'm only having Crackles in those chocolate Hershey's variety packs, though. Um. Ooh, Andy's chocolate. Those are really good. I'll put those in A. Those are really good. Those are like those mint chocolates. Those are really tasty. Um. Sorry, my mask gets in the way. I gotta get my mask out of here. Um. I had my uh my senses were tingling for a second. Let me adjust my mask. Okay. Uh Harbro Root Beer. Never had that. That's gross. Gross. Jawbreakers. I really haven't had much experience with jawbreakers. I'll put them in E. Got more gum. Never put gum into this discussion. Zero. I don't know what zero is. Baby Ruth, those are fine. That's probably a C. Baby Ruth is fine. Oh, is this uh, Taffy? Taffy is okay. Uh, I say Taffy's a, Taffy's Taffy's probably a D tier. Do the Heath bar on the first row so I can insult it. Heath bar. Uh, Heath bar is okay. I think I like look at it and it looks disgusting and I eat it and it's always like fine. I'm gonna put the Heath bar C and you know what? Those Oreo ones, those are eh, not D tier is fair. They're gross, but they're just gross enough that they're in D tier. Ooh, he said Heath Bar, throw it in the trash. I'm not passionate about the Heath Bar. The Heath Bar is not Dove chocolate. Uh, Heath Bar is like, okay, I had it before. Not very passionate about the Heath Bar. Uh, we got those fancy chocolate balls that are a little overpriced and you eat them and you wonder was this worth my nine dollars <sighs> they are addicting but they're not a or s tier i put the fancy chocolate balls on b tier i almost want to put them at c but they are addicting but they're not satisfying they're not satisfying like the end of the third Spider-Man movie. No relation to the stream. I mean, it's entertaining enough. But it leaves you wanting more. And you never feel satisfied when you eat those fancy chocolate balls. Uh, what have we got? Those Giornalinis, Granolinis candy bars. Um, those, those can be pretty damn good. The peppermint one, yeah, I put those in A tier. They're expensive. I don't know what it's called, Gerdalinis, Gerdalinis. It's pretty good. That's an A tier. That's not like the best thing in the world, but. Well, no, they're pretty good, but they're like barely at A tier. I really like the peppermint bark flavor. Those are pretty good. All right, guys, I gotta speed this up a little bit. I'm probably taking too long. Uh, Godiva. I don't have much experience with Godiva. I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. We're just gonna clear the board on these I don't know candies. Idaho Spud, what is that? Munch? Arrow, I don't know what Arrow is, but it looks gross. Abba Zabba, funny name, never had that. Ooh, Cadbury Chocolate Bar, that's an A tier for sure. Those are good. Cadbury Chocolate Bar, Cadbury Egg, those are okay. Cadbury Egg is a C. Cadbury Egg is overhyped. Jolly Ranchers, Jolly Ranchers are pretty solid. Jolly Ranchers are basically cough drops. But I like cough drops. 
I'm gonna put Jolly Ranchers at B. I don't have too many fruity candies. Uh, milk Duds are gross. Milk Duds. Milk Duds are gonna go in probably E. Yeah. Milk Duds are gonna go in E. They're gross. Airheads. Airheads are okay. Airheads are probably D. Jolly Rancher gummies. I don't think I've had those before. Toblerone? Tol Toblerone? I don't know how you say that. S tier. Toblerone S tier. I eat those so much. Oh man, those are good. Now, the weird triangle texture sometimes makes them hard to eat, but Toblerone, excellent candy bar. No question. Sweet tarts are gross. Sweet tarts are... I don't want sweet tarts. I put sweet tarts at F. That's gross. This is Pop Rock. Pop Rock's a gimmick. Pop Rock's a E. Three Musketeers. That's a solid candy bar right there. Three Musketeers gonna go in B. Toblerone gets S tier because of Jaden Smith's Netflix anime. Does he have an anime? I didn't hear about that. Uh, oh, I did not know he had an anime. That is interesting. Tol Toblerone. It's hard to say, easy to eat. That should be the catchphrase. Uh, we got loser candies your grandma gives you. Uh, put that E. They're better than F, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's probably right. Reese's Pieces? Reese's Pieces are C. They're fine. They're almost a D. Yeah, guys, don't forget about the orange sweater I'm wearing. <laughs> Just had to keep you on your toes, you know? Just never forget. Toblerone. Toblerone. Junior Mints. Junior Mints are pretty good. I'm going to put them in B. Mint and chocolate, always a good combination. Toblerone. Toblerone's pretty good. Junior Mints are pretty good. Spicy Bullshit. I'll put that in F. Those spicy balls. This is gross. Waste of time. Uh, what are these called? Thero Rocher Hazelnut Chocolate Balls. They're okay. Overhyped. That'd be, that'd be a C. Yeah. Junior Mints are pretty strong. Um, I can't tell what kind of Hershey's this is. I hope this is Hershey's Almond. I can't tell though. We're just gonna assume this is Hershey's almond and we're gonna put that in S tier. Okay, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna clear out some of these candies I don't know. Oops. Excuse me, excuse me. Sorry. Starburst. All the Starbursts belong in D tier. It's mediocre. Smarties. Smarties are gonna be... Are we gonna say Smarties are E tier or D tier? You let me know. Smarties are nothing crazy. Pez. The actual candy, I don't even remember it. I'm gonna say it's an F. People just want the toys. Uh... <laughs> Tootsie Rolls, E tier. Chocolate. <laughs> Smarties taste like chalk? Okay. Smarties go to F tier. Smarties, Smarties are only good if you're trying to pretend you're doing drugs in elementary school. Um, we got regular lollipops. 
Uh, that's probably a D tier. <laughs> Blow pops. Or those, the Tootsie Pop thing. Eh, it's all D tier. Lollipops are just okay. Dots. Uh, dots are D tier. It's like a little less than edible. I don't know what that is. I don't remember what the Gobstoppers taste like. I feel like they are also D tier candy. It's okay. Honestly, when it comes to candy, chocolate is always king. Hot tamales. Gross. Spicy candy. Gross. Cherry sours. Never had that. Snickers. This is going to be controversial for all you Snickers fans. Snickers D tier. Snickers is a D tier. It's below minimal candy standards. Peanut butter Snickers. That's a solid candy bar. Where did that go? Where, did I lose the peanut butter Snickers? They got lost. Oh yeah, right there. A tier. Um... Snickers, Snickers just tastes like fat. I don't know how to say it. It's just gross. Snickers just has too much stuff in it. I don't like it. I feel like I'm eating lard and nuts. I don't like Snickers. I'm actually not myself when I eat a Snickers. I, peanut butter is good. But that's because peanut butter cleans up a lot of messes. Regular Snickers, not good. Lemonhead... I don't remember that. Fun dip. Fun dip can go in D tier. Fun dip is a gimmick. Fun dip is cool, but it's a gimmick. Mentos. Mentos are pretty harmless. I'll just put them in D tier. Mentos is just like fine, I guess. Nothing crazy. Razzles? I don't know what Razzles is. Laffy Taffy? Oof. Laffy Taffy's probably E tier. Laffy Taffy's ugh, it's not so good. Not really worth talking about, if I do say so myself. Ooh, these candy peanuts? These are terrible. I remember having those. Those are gross. I wouldn't bother with those candy peanuts. Cherry sours. Never had those. Ring pop. Ring pop. I think those taste okay, but... I'm never going to have ring pop again in my life. Like, unless I'm trying to show my kid how to eat it in the future. Ring pop gets an E. I don't know the point in having a ring pop. Red Hots, spicy stuff, always gross when it comes to candy. Rolos, Rolos are fine. I'll put them in C. Juju fruits, I don't know what that tastes like. Nerds, I like the Nerds Rope and the other Nerds varieties. Yeah, circus peanuts are gross. Nerds are probably D tier. They're like almost C, but I think the nerd variety snacks are better. Like Nerds Rope is pretty good. Mm, do I want to put Nerds in C tier? Uh, I'll put Nerds in C tier, I guess. I'd rather have Nerds than Starburst. Orange slices, not having it. I think this is Nerds Rope. That's pretty good. I'll put Nerds Rope in B tier. Nerds Rope's pretty tasty. Warheads, it's just like, what's the point of that? Snow caps, I don't remember snow caps. Whoppers are pretty disgusting. I remember them always being F, but they're like kind of a D. I put Whoppers in D. They're pretty gross. Swedish Fish. 
Swedish fish are pretty good. I'll put them a C. They're pretty solid. I think I'd rather have lightsaber gummies. But Swedish fish are pretty good. Regular lightsabers. Kind of boring. I feel like... Yeah, I don't know why Clover eats Whoppers willingly. That's a little depressing. He goes out of his way to eat Whoppers. Lifesavers are basically just mints. I think they're a D. Regular lifesavers, I, I don't I don't need to be doing all that. It's kind of a waste of time. Mike and Ike was an F. It was gross. Good and plenty. Gross. Ooh, Mambo? That is good. Mambo is an A. Mambo might even be better than Haichu. Those are like way better than Starburst. Haichu and Mambo, great alternatives to Starburst. Yeah, good and plenty. That stuff's gross. Raisinets are pretty good. They're just chocolate raisins. I'd say Raisinets, they're C. You know what? Yeah, no, I put almonds. Raisinets aren't bad. Raisinets. I'll put raisinets at C. I like raisins. I like chocolate. They're not doing anything wild, but they're edible. Good enough. Uh, all this Mike and Ike crap is going to F. Mike and Ike is gross. Uh, goobers, I put in the same category as Raisinets. C. They're fine. Just chocolate peanuts. Nothing crazy. Cookie dough, I don't think I've ever had this cookie dough thing before. Oh, they changed the Mambo recipe? I didn't know that. What is this? Reese's eggs? Why is one of the options Easter... We got the fake... Grass from Easter candy? Is that what this is? Alright, we're gonna put the fake grass at S tier. Butterfinger? Butterfinger's either gonna be S tier or A tier. I feel like it's gonna be A tier. Butterfinger's really, really gross. I mean, sorry, really, really good. But sometimes it gets too chewy. It gets too messy. So that's a detriment. And that makes it harder to overeat Butterfingers. Well, I can overeat uh, peanut M&M's pretty easy. Mambo used to be a vegan candy, and then they added animal skin to it, which pissed off animal activists. That's just weird. They should have just kept it as it is. I don't know if I've had the new Mambo flavoring. Um, but if you're saying they put animal skins and all that, I'll just put the Mambo at B. Mambo is like a Starburst. It's a fruity candy. They're pretty good. I think it's British. Well, High Chew's Asian and Starburst is some American crap. I'd say get High Chew. It's in the international aisle. I know you know that, where that is. So... Now and later? How about never? Because we put that at the never had before. Uh, push pop? I'm not five. I'm going to put that away. Blow pop? Inappropriate. Cookies and cream? These cookies and cream bars are kind of gross. I'll put them in D tier. I eat animal skin? Who doesn't eat animal skin? You eat meat, you eat animal skin. I just eat the fruit. I don't I didn't know there was animal skin until he told me. Gummy bears? Gummy bears are fine. I prefer gummy worms. I feel like gummy bears are gummy bears C tier or are they D tier? I don't know. I feel like the more I build on the C tier stuff, it's like this candy is edible and it's either fine enough to good. I'll put, eh, I'll put gummy bears at C. 
I don't know. The cookies and cream Hershey's have a weird aftertaste. Yeah, gummy bears are average. I put them in C tier. That's a good good choice. I like how you're thinking. I can't even read what this says, so we'll put it with never had. Dum Dums? I think these are like lollipops. That's an F. With some apple stuff. Never had. Altoids? That's not in the discussion. Oh no. I don't know what these are called. These like fruity Tootsie Roll things. These are disgusting. That's going in F. Mentos? All the Mentos were like... Were they D tier? Where did I put the Mentos? Yeah, Mentos are in D tier. Mentos are not so great. Yeah, gummy worms better than gummy bears, that's for sure. Tic Tacs, not in the discussion. Red Vines, these suck. There's an F tier. Twizzlers are way better than Red Vines. It's like Caramel Squares or something. That's an E tier candy for sure. I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Oh, black. This is like the organic gummy bears. These are pretty good. I'll put those at B. They're a lot better than the regular Herbro. Black Forest gummy bears are pretty good. Yeah, red, red vines are disgusting. I don't know why you put that near your stomach, mouth, anything really. Uh, don't know what this is. This is some gr gross candy juices. That's going to go in F. I'm not sure what those are. I've only had a Mars bar a few times. I remember those being okay. <laughs> it's probably C or D tier. We're going to put it in D. Sour gummy worms. Gonna put that above gummy bears. That's probably a B. Sour gummy worms are pretty good. Sugar daddy, inappropriate. Uh, this is Russell Stove's chocolate. This sucks. F tier, no flavor, cheap, cheap garbage. Chocolate's gotta be quality and the Russell Stove and the Dove are not quality chocolate. Sweet tarts are garbage, F tier. Fake soda candies, waste of time, F tier. Chocolate coins. It is chocolate, but it's low quality chocolate. We'll put that D tier. They might be coin shaped, but they're not worth much. Got some more goofy candies here. Any Twizzler that isn't regular Twizzler is gross. I'm going to assume these are all F. Regular Twizzlers are good. The other flavors are nasty. Chocolate coins are only good at Chanaka. Sugar Baby are second worst for me. Sugar Baby just is, is not appropriate for the stream. All right, lemon head stuff. I never ate that. Warheads, game of candy. Skittles, more Skittles crap. Uh, this is probably just bad. I don't know. I've never had those kind of Skittles. I'll put that away. All right, we got more sweet tarts. We pretty much got everything down. We're just going to organize this. Sweet tarts are F. F F F baby. Ooh, Oreo chocolate bar. That stuff's nasty. I think I remember this one being even gross than the other Oreo bar. That's gonna go in E. All the gummy worms are gonna go in B tier. Aren't sugar babies basically milk duds? Either way, trash. Man, Mr. Top 10 Less is getting aggressive. 
Mr. Top 10 List, what is your favorite candy? Sweet tarts are all going F, Mike and Ike. F, it doesn't matter how many varieties you have. F, 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 baby, F, F, F. Mike and Ike, gross. Sweet tarts, gross. How many gummy worm varieties do you need? Whoever made this tier list is just odd. We, we don't need all these gummy worm varieties. And then we got cough drops. It's gonna be F. Airheads. All the airheads were D tier. So you said your favorite candy depends on the day. I'd say peanut M and M's, Kit Kat, Crunch. Those are really good. And Toblerone. Those are my favorites. These other ones. These other ones can almost go to A, but I already have them in S. Well, Symphony Bar is really strong. If this is Almond Hershey, that is pretty damn good too. It's hard to tell with the image. But I'm never touching Mike and Ike, that's for sure. I think these are Reese's eggs. Those are probably okay. Just put them in C tier. Peanut M&M, I respect that. Peanut M&M is probably my favorite candy as well. Because you said your favorite candy depends on the day. Peanut M&Ms are good every day. Kit Kats are good almost every day. Crunch, almost every day. But peanut M&M, any day, every day, I could eat those. Just uh, cleaning up the list. Got to get rid of all the entries. Um, before we wrap up this candy discussion, are there any choices I made that we need to, to, to debate, to discuss? I have M&Ms at S tier, peanut M&Ms to be exact. I think that's unquestionable. I don't think that's going to get changed. We have Kit Kat at S tier, excellent candy bar. Crunch at S tier, pretty damn good candy bar. Toblerone, very strong candidate. Take five, quite good itself as well. Um, Symphony bar, really good. Almond Hershey's, excellent. Fudge, fudge is always good. Peppermints, always tasty. We got the Easter grass in a bag. I put that as S tier just for giggles. I think my S tier lineup is pretty solid. I don't think anything's getting shuffled around. And I'm pretty happy about my A tier sign up, uh, lineup. We got whatchamacallit, which is like a chocolate Rice Krispies bar. Pretty damn good. Uh, dark Hershey's, really good. If it's a Dark Hershey's with nuts in it, <laughs> that would be S tier, but I think that's just the regular Dark Hershey's. We got a uh, chocolate variety, variety box of chocolates I frequently get my mom for Christmas. Um, those are really good, that's A tier. Peanut butter Snickers bar, pretty damn good. Fast break, it's just about the same thing, just shove a bunch of peanut butter in a chocolate bar, call it a day. Twix, very, very good. Sometimes Twix is an S, but most days it's an A. High Chew, excellent fruit candy, Crackle, Pretty much a crunch bar, a little little worse, maybe slightly worse. We got the Andes chocolate, very good. The Gidaldi's, Giraldi's, whatever, fancy chocolates, those are pretty good. Cadbury chocolate, A tier. Butterfinger, A tier. We'll talk about the B and C tier, but anything below D is not really worth mentioning. Unless somebody's got some controversial, you know, rebuttal. In B tier, we have the chocolate pretzels, payday, mini M&Ms, regular M&Ms. All pretty solid, all good enough. Sour Skittles. Oh, Butterfinger. Butterfinger, I put in A tier. Butterfinger is really good. Um, 
You were probably here. I might have talked about it quickly. I just said the reason they're not in S tier is because they get so chewy in your mouth. It becomes so messy. I'm not always in the mood to get messy with the candy bar. Sometimes you just want to bite and uh, move on, you know? But uh, Butterfinger's pretty solid. Uh, sour Skittles are here to appease the chat. Skittles I can do without. Twizzlers are pretty good, so they're in B tier. Fifth Avenue was for AT. I am not familiar with that bar. York is very good. I remember Sour Patch Kids being pretty good, but I don't eat them too much. I remember the Lightsaber Gummies being really good. Kinder Bueno is pretty strong. Um, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, pretty good, but a little overrated, if I'll be honest. Mounds. Mounds Chocolate Bars are pretty strong. Good bars, pretty good. Fancy chocolate balls are pretty good. They're in between if they want to be A or, or C, so I kept them at B. Like, they're pretty good, but they're not very satisfying, and they're a little overpriced. Jolly Ranchers are solid. Three Musketeers, solid. Junior Mints are pretty good. Nerds Rope, pretty good. I remember Mambo being at A, but apparently there's a whole controversy with animal skin. So I had to put them down to B tier. The Black Forest Gummy Bears are very good. Trolley Gummy Worms, very good as well. Have all the varieties here. I don't know why we needed one, two, three, four, five, seven. I don't know why we needed eight varieties of the same thing, but here we go. And C tier, which was pretty much just like regular, fine enough candies. We got regular Hershey's, Pretzel M&M's, Werther's Original, Chalky Peppermint Mints, Almond Joy, Dark Chocolate Milky Way, 100 Gram Bar, Baby Baby Ruth, Heath, Cadbury Egg, Reese's Pieces, Reese's Eggs, Harbro Bears, Goobers, Raisinets, Swedish, Swedish Fish, Nerds, Rolos, and Fancy Hazelnut Chocolate Balls. Uh, D and E tier aren't really worth mentioning. And F we had Peeps, Bubble Yum, Orbit, Hershey's Gold. Never try that. I got those crystal candy food dye stick things. They suck. Any Twizzler flavor. That's not the original is gross. Um, Pixie Sticks are nasty. AT said Runts are gross. Strawberry Suckers, nasty. Mike and Ike. Good and plenty, really gross. All, any spicy candy went to F immediately. Dove chocolate sucks. Candy bracelets, not worth your time. Push pops, blow pops, red vines, all gross. Dum dums, if you're eating those, you're reading the bag right. Uh, Russell Stove's chocolate was nasty. Uh, and Warheads. And all these sweet hearts are nasty, so they're an F tier. So that's how I feel about candy. Um, I wish there was more chocolate options on this pool of candies, but you know, hopefully, you realize that I am right and you are wrong, or you agree with me. Thanks for listening to this candy discussion. I think we can get moving on to talking about Halloween costumes really see what is a good Halloween costume and what is a bad Halloween costume but before we do that I will be taking a break so um, just give me a second I'm gonna take a break uh, tune in we're gonna be talking about Halloween costumes in just a second guys we're back we're gonna talk about Halloween costumes we're gonna do a tier list ranking of the best and the worst Halloween costumes so you know let me know your thoughts on what do you think's a good Halloween costume what's a bad one probably gonna go with this Grim Reaper costume real quick and I think the Grim Reaper is a pretty solid costume honestly I think it's a pretty solid costume. It's not like crazy good or crazy bad, but it's a pretty interesting choice. 
Um. Uh, Grim Reaper. Probably put it at B tier. It's cool. It's a pretty bad lineup, anyway. I think Grim Reaper could be could be B. I'll put Grim Reaper at B tier probably. I think Frog. Frog is just lame. I'll put Frog at F. Uh, it looks like we got Pikachu, but it's like an inflatable Pikachu or something like that. We could put that at B tier, I guess. What's a strong one? I think Harry Potter is a pretty strong costume. I put Harry Potter at A tier. Mm. I don't know how we're feeling so far. So the frog is F tier. Inflatable Pikachu is probably B tier. Grim Reaper's fine enough. It's a B tier. Harry Potter. Harry Potter is probably the best of that batch. Harry Potter solid enough. Um, we got a pumpkin as an outfit. Pumpkin really playing it safe there. Pumpkin's a D. Could be worse. It's a little too safe. I think the raccoon's pretty badass. I'll put the raccoon at A. He's even got a trash bag with him. I mean, that's actually kind of scary. I say the raccoon's a solid A for talking costume tier list. Fireman? That's lame. Fireman's an E. How is that even a costume? That's not even scary, and it's like. That's just a job. That's. That's boring. I think Gladiator's pretty neat. I'll put. Roman Gladiator at C tier. That's pretty neat. Nothing crazy. Hmm. What do we got? Pickle. Pickle's pretty terrifying. Hmm. I think I'll put Pickle at C. I'll move the Gladiator up to B. Uh, the Pickle is like... While well, jobs are scary... Being firefighter is scary, but he's just like a sexy fire firefighter with an axe. He's not going through PTSD like uh, like Rescue Me, that show on FX. So, I don't really think that's Halloween enough for me. But just a rundown so far, if you're just coming in. Uh, we got Frog. We're doing Halloween tier list, Halloween costumes to be exact. Frog at F tier, Fireman at E, Pumpkin at D, Pickle at C. Because Pickle's like, oh, I'm the funny guy. I got the funny outfit, but he's just a pickle. It's not that funny. Grim Reaper at B, solid. Inflatable Pikachu, pretty good. Roman Gladiator guy, pretty nice. Raccoon at A, the raccoon is pretty damn cool. Harry Potter, at least you're getting a little outside the box with your costume. I mean, I know it's a franchise, but... It's a little more interesting than a pickle. Uh, we got Mad Scientist. Mad Scientist is okay. I want to say Mad Scientist is almost a D. That's not funny like a pickle. Even pickle is not even that funny. And it's not cool like a gladiator. So Mad Scientist is a D. Cowboy? That's just lame. That's not even like a cool cowboy. That just looks very hammy. That's going to be an F. The pizza skirt. <laughs> this is very low effort. If she was like a pizza slice and her head was popping out, I would respect it more. But she's wearing like a pizza skirt. Pizza one, one piece top. It's not doing much for me that's gonna be a d rainbow 
Rainbow just sucks. Who's going to be a rainbow for Halloween? That's not a real costume. Uh, what do we got? We got Ursula from the Disney movie Little Mermaid. I mean, we got to put it above D because you're at least trying. I don't like Ursula. So you're not going above a B or A or S. Like, it's not a cool character. She's just kind of gross. She'd be C. Zombie. Sorry, we got Zombie Schoolgirl. Zombie Schoolgirl, like, at least for bare minimum, we're doing something with a costume, but it's kind of boring as well. Evil Clown. It's like, okay, it's also a costume, but it's not the best. Uh, what do we got? The Beauty version of... We got the Beast from Beauty and the Beast if he's a human. That sucks. That really sucks. That's so boring. Police? I don't know. I don't even know if I want to go there. People get too controversial with the police. Police uniform? I don't know. If you dress up as the police for Halloween, I think you're going to get in trouble. I think I'm just going to make a new category. Like, I'm not going to get controversial with that, but just like... Impersonating the police? That's just going to get you in trouble. Like, there's not that many firemen. And, like, there's a fireman near... Fireman, fire marshal. Sorry, I don't know. Firefighter. Sorry, that's what I'm trying to say. If there's a firefighter near you, it's like, okay, cool, he can save a fire. But there's a police officer, you know, you might be scared. You might feel uncomfortable. Or this person could be impersonating a police officer. That sounds like legal trouble, social problems. I think if you try to be a police officer, you're just going to get yourself in trouble. Uh, we got sexy nurse. Uh... Well, it's not F, it's not E, it's not D. But it's not B or A or S. It's not amazing. It's like, I, you're not just a nurse, you're a sexy nurse. But even then, it's like kind of not that interesting. So, C. C for sexy. Uh, we just got a crappy lion costume. This is like so bad, I kind of respect it. So I have to put the like, crappy lion costume in B. Leave it at that. Uh, we got a classic skeleton costume. Pretty solid. I keep that B. That's pretty strong. Um, I don't know. We got somebody in a jail costume. Pretty simplistic, but I kind of respect it again too. I put that in C with the pickle. It's it's a higher C tier, C plus to be honest. Oh, we just got a normal nurse. That's pretty bad. I'll put that E tier with the normal firefighter. Bumblebee. At least that's a little creative, but that's still pretty terrible. These costumes are not very good. Um, we have Pirate. This Pirate looks cool. I wish he was more piratey rather than just badass. But pirate's a pretty solid costume. I put pirate in C tier. That's not too bad. King Tut. <clears throat> King Tut is another one that's like, okay, this is pretty cool. It's not amazing. Uh, I think King Tut is unique enough that I'll put it in B tier. King Tut's pretty strong. We got this freaky iguana thing. That's a little bit out there. I put that A tier. Uh, I think the raccoon one I respect so much I don't have to push it to the S tier. He's got the trash bag. He's got accessories. Um, you know, the death scythe is cool. It's just a little too generic. But I appreciate the accessories. and The gladiator accessories help a lot. Uh, we have a detective. That is pretty damn boring. 
Uh, that's barely anything. I would put a detective at D. Just generic detective isn't too interesting. We got a werewolf. Uh, werewolf is C, just like a bare minimum costume. I respect the the mask, but I don't know. The werewolf doesn't look too great to me. Uh, we got those people with the funny bird masks. That's kind of creepy. I'll put that at B tier. That's just kind of freaky. And once again, it's a little out there. So I respect that. Uh, we got a, a girl who wants to be a wolf, I guess. That looks pretty horrible. I'll put that F tier. We got the inflatable alien S tier. He's just chilling out, being funny, inflatable costumes. They either hit or miss. The alien would be a hit for me. I guess this is a generic witch. I'm feeling this generic witch costume quite a bit. I'll put it in B tier. A witch is more fun than werewolf. Werewolf should be pretty cool, but this werewolf outfit just looks boring. Plaid shirt, jeans, hairy chest. That's just me in a bad outfit. I mean, that's not really a costume. Uh, we got the devil in a suit. I am not feeling this devil costume at all. Um, I feel like the F ones are just totally nothing. I guess I'll put this in D. A devil, you can be doing a lot more. The devil costume's kind of lame. I guess this is like the Day of the Dead of Mexico costume. You know, it's not totally horrible, so it's not F, and it's not like rain dead boring but once again not too interesting so probably put that D tier as well uh, next we got a Viking the Viking is cool uh, the Viking is fine I'll put the Viking at C tier it's nothing to write home about but it's not too bad we got a cat costume. That's so boring. Uh, I'll put the cat costume in D. We can try harder. We can be a little more creative with our costumes. Uh, the dinosaur outfit's pretty fun. I don't think it's amazing, but it's pretty cool. I'll put it at A tier. And last up, I guess this is like the. Emma Stone as the new 101 Dalmatians bad character, the villain, what's her name, Cruella or something like that. That's fine. It's kind of generic as well. Uh, let's see here, I guess. The costumes I found here are not too great. I tried to look up other costume tier lists and I just wasn't very impressed by them. But if you want to know, the best costume is the raccoon with the trash bag. Then we have the alien inflatable suit. Followed by A tier, which would be Harry Potter, scary iguana thing, and a dinosaur suit. B tier would be the Grim Reaper, inflatable Pikachu lady, gladiator, crappy lion costume. Uh, classic skeleton costume, King Tut, freaky gothic European bird thing, out quality witch costume, C tier, the best C tier would be the Pickle and the Prisoner, then we got Ursula from Little Mermaid, Zombie Schoolgirl, Evil Clown, Sexy Nurse, Badass Pirate, Generic Werewolf, Generic Viking, Emma Stone in 101 Dalmatians, or whatever movie she made that nobody watched. D tier, we got the pumpkin. I mean, it's so generic and minimalistic, I kind of like it. But it's super basic. We got Evil Scientist with no attitude. The Evil Scientist has to go D tier. I'm just not feeling it. It's not too good. 
We got the pizza skirt. Pretty bland. Only got pepperoni on that thing. It's got to be in D tier. Sherlock Holmes. That's not even Sherlock Holmes. It's just generic detective. It's got to be D tier. We got the devil in a suit. I wasn't too impressed on that one. D tier. Uh, Day of the Dead guy costume. Generic cat costume. Not so bad. E tier. We got a firefighter. Very bland. Very boring. Super realistic nurse outfit. Very boring. And then we got Bumblebee. That's super lame. F. Frog. Frog might be one of the worst. I, I don't know why you'd even bother. We got a really terrible cowboy costume. A rainbow. The Beast when he's a human from Beauty and the Beast. And a wolf outfit. I think it's a lady in a wolf outfit. That's not too great. And if you dress up as a police officer, that just seems problematic. I wrote that down as, it will get you in trouble. I don't know if the frog's amazing, but if you think it's that good, we'll move it up to D tier. I thought the frog was kind of lame, personally. But it is what it is. I think the raccoon with the trash bag was pretty amazing. But, uh, you know, unless there's any debate anyone want to argue with my decisions here I think that's pretty much it when it comes to the Halloween tier list I'm feeling pretty comfortable with this uh, costume discussion unless anybody's got any final thoughts I think we're pretty good when it comes to the Halloween tier list I'd say if you're wanting to take any recommendations you could try to be an alien or you could be a raccoon with a trash bag. Get yourself some peanut M&Ms, some Kit Kats, and just, just enjoy yourself this holiday. Um, hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, it's a little too early to be trick-or-treating. Still got a few days till that goes. But appreciate everybody for coming in. Hope you uh, had a nice time. See what you said. What am I going to dress up with? I have no idea what I'm going to dress up for Halloween. I'm really not sure. I thought I had a decent idea. But I'm really not sure. If you have any recommendations, let me know. Because the big thing for me is I kind of wanted to do a character that would have a beard. But that limits my options. So, I'm not sure. I was thinking of maybe doing... What? Lying is bad? What do you mean? What did I do? I, I was thinking of maybe doing Tony Stark. But, I don't know. Oh, Deathstroke? Let's look that up. That sounds cool. How am I going to make a Deathstroke costume? Let's do... Hold on one second. I want to try Deathstroke. That sounds cool. That was really specific. Does Deathstroke have a beard? Oh, he does. I don't have the budget for this, though. I mean, this is pretty badass, but... Constantine? Who is that? This is pretty badass, but I have no budget. Constantine? I have no idea what Constantine is. Sounds like a girl. <laughs> is this Constantine? I mean, he has a beard. And fire. Everyone fights their demons. His fight back. Uh-oh, NBC show? Yikes. Oh, he says he's from DC Comics. DC Comics. So I'm guessing you actually like the comics. Oh, damn. He looks pretty badass. I don't know. Can I do anything, like, on a budget? Because cause I'm not sure. I, I could do a very terrible Mario costume. But Mario doesn't have a beard. So that would suck. This Constantine guy looks pretty damn cool. 
But if I do that, nobody will know who I am. I'd like to commit to that if I was actually going to do that and dye my hair. But I don't know if I want to be a character that I just found out about 10 seconds ago. Okay, yo, Plastic Man would be good. But Plastic Man doesn't have a beard though, right? The thing is that Plastic Man shows a lot of, a lot of skin. And I'm a pretty hairy individual. So I don't know how I make Plastic Man work. Oh wait, sorry. Wait, let me move my camera. The Sea Captain from The Simpsons? That's pretty good. But then I have to dye my beard gray. That's a good pick, though. I'd be pretty scared about dyeing my beard. I've never done that. I like that choice, though. I mean, I almost want to get bold enough and shave just for Halloween, but I'm not sure. I mean, if I have to, I'll just be really lazy and I'll just be Spider-Man and we'll just call it Future Spider-Man. But, um, I'm not sure. It's, it's pretty difficult to come up with something at this point. Um, I'm running out of time. I need to do something on a budget. And, uh, this spider suit. Yo, Kirby? Yo, Kirby, I like that. How would I even Kirby costume? I like that, Kirby. Okay, Loki, I would do the Kirby costume. This is so awful, but it's pretty damn good. Anyways, getting sidetracked. Hope everybody has a great night. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate you joining the stream. It definitely was a good time. And if you have suggestions on what I should do, I will consider it. I will think on it, and I will work on it. Hope you have a great night, and hope you have a happy Halloween. Appreciate you for tuning in. We got a new Halloween video coming out on Thursday. And can I locate the end screen? You know I can. It's really hard to see with this thing on. Uh, you have a great night. <laughs>